All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by, I appreciate it. So today's video for Electrical 101, I want to describe or fill you in on um, what is inside of the wires that you are using, what they do, what their functions are. Um, so I'm just going over the basic, um, this is a 14-2 wire. Um, so you got your two wires, your hot is your black, your neutral is your white, and your ground is your copper. Um, if you if you're using MC, it would be black white, and it would be a green uh, a green coated wire or a green sheathing. Um, and I just watched the video because I try not to butcher this, um, but I'm gonna drop that video link in the description below. It's a really good explanation, it has really good examples, and um, whatever you call it, um, really good graphic design and visualizations and animations. Um, to uh, help you understand this. So if you want to um, know more about this better than I can explain, I will throw the video link in the description, um, the first thing in the description. But anyways, the ground wire, uh, starting off the ground wire will never be used. This will always be in case of emergency, so there will never be current flowing through the ground wire. Um, this will just be in case of a ground fault. Um, like if you touch the hot to the neutral, or I mean the hot to the ground, then it will trip the breaker. Um, so this, the ground is just for an emergency and you will always be having your electricity running through the hot wire and the neutral wire. So next we'll go over the hot wire. The hot wire is um, the coming from the power source. It is what is powering up the circuits or your electricity in your house or wherever it's going to. So from the panel, the um, wire, it, the black wire is taking the load from the, from the panel or your power source to where it's going. And then the white wire is returning it to the panel. Um, the neutral wire is returning the load or unbalanced load to the panel. So it's basically like a big circle. Um, power comes in on the black and power goes back out to the white and the ground is just for emergencies. So maybe that explains everything I need to say. Um, that's just as simple as I can make it as quickly as possible. Um, of course, um, it's not always just gonna be a black, white, and ground wire. Um, it's not just gonna be that simple. Sometimes you'll have a red wire, which will have a different, um, a different function depending on what you are wiring. So if you have a black, white, and a red, sometimes you can use the black and red as a traveler between a three-way switch or if you have a bigger gauge wire, your black, white, and red might be for like a drying, uh, like for washer, uh, washer dryer, for the dryer. Um, it will be for a 240 volt system um, and you will have a black, uh, black will be a hot and the red will be a hot, um, giving it more power to dry your clothes or whatnot. So um, that's just a few examples. And sometimes you can also, if the wire size is big enough, you can re, um, you can use the white wire and re-phase it black and then you can also use that as a uh, another power source as well So some people if you're just running a 20 amp circuit some people will just use a 12 wire and then retape the uh, white wire as a black and then just connect it to um, the second spot on the breaker as a uh, second hot so Hopefully that gives you some basic, basic, basic information. I just wanted to go over this before I start wiring up on my uh, electrical wall outside, just to give you guys some information of what does what. Um, and I'll try to go over some more in the future, but just trying to go in order here from no information as um, electrician or electrical, just trying to build it up and keep it sequential as I go in order here. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Hopefully this doesn't make Hopefully this helps you understand some things and doesn't confuse you. But I, like I said, um, there's like an 11 or 12 minute video that I just watched and it is really good. Um, and I'll go over that more if you guys want to check it out if you think that this video sucks. So check that out in the description. Don't know the person. Um, I think their name was uh, the engineering mindset. Um, so anyways, I'll, like I said, throw that in the description below and then see if I can make any more videos today. If not, Maybe we'll do another one next Friday on my next day off. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. God bless. Don't forget to check the description for anything else, um, like Instagram and his social medias. 
Um, if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. It'll help out the channel. Love you guys. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out. All right, guys. So I did want to mention a few more things before I end the video. Um, I did forget to mention a few things that I want to say. Um, so for your basic um, plug and switch, plug and switch, um, the plug is going to have a ground for, like I said, the emergency, the neutral to return the power, and the hot to bring the power. So power in, power power in from the panel, power out back to the panel, and in case of emergencies, your ground, um, your ground screw. So if this was a GFI, um, the um, neutral would be measured um, through the breaker. Um, so if you have 120 volts coming in, this is probably gonna be a bad example, but if you have 120 volts coming in on the GFI, and 120 volts going back on the neutral, everything is fine. The breaker says, okay, there's no problems. But um, if you accidentally stick a fork in there and then you are the path to ground for an emergency and then it says, hey, there's not 120 volts coming back on into the panel, it's gonna say, hey, someone's getting shocked or there's a problem. So it's gonna cut the power and then you're gonna be safe and you're not gonna die. Um, so that's one example. And on the switch, you have your ground for emergency again, and then you have you have your two black screws. So one for the power and another black wire will be for the switch light or the switch going up to the light. So it's basically just a circuit interrupter. So it brings the power in and then sends the power to the light. And that's what the light switch does is just send the power from the power source up to the light. And that connects it and disconnects it depending on the position of the switch. And, and you might be wondering why isn't there a neutral in the light switch? And that is because um, you have the neutral from the panel um, in the box at the switch box. And then the neutral is tied into the neutral in the light. Power comes up um, from the power source panel, goes up through the black wire, and then it returns from the wire, the white wire, the neutral from the light wire. Um, back to the neutral that goes back to the panel. Set it, got it. So it's just a big circle, power comes in, power goes out. So, um, and then your emergency. So anyways, now that I said that, thank you for watching. God bless, have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out. All right guys, if you're more visual learner like me, I'm gonna draw this for you because I don't have a whiteboard. I'm just gonna use this back of this envelope. Rough drawings here, got your panel, got your plug right here. So the power from the panel is coming in to the gold screws on this side of the plug. And then the power goes out back to the panel, return path back to the panel. So just like that circle. And if you are doing this switch over here, another envelope, got your panel again, got your um, two gold screws right here. We're just not gonna, um, draw the grounds here for now. But anyways, you got your power coming in to one side of the screw right here, this first one, and then up to the other wire, um, the other power wire goes up to the light source, boom. And then your neutrals are going to be inside of the box. So pretend there's a uh, box right here. Um, and this goes back to that first one, sorry. Um, so your neutrals inside of the switch box are going to be one from the panel and then another one from the light back to the box. So power comes in on this wire um, to the box and then gonna be connected to the screw right there. And then when you turn the switch on, power is gonna flow up to the light and then the neutral is gonna flow back on the white wire from the light to the box and that's gonna connect in here with a wire net to the wire back to the panel. So that's a really bad circle, but power in, power out. There you go.